a child's mind is innocent, and because of which some theories suggest children are more perceptive to paranormal activity because they have not yet learned to dismiss it as impossible. Here are five stories of children who have reported seeing ghosts. I just wanted to take the timeshare a few of my own experiences, all of them back from when I lived in England. So these few experiences were from when I was younger and could see ghosts. The first one was back when my younger brother had just been born and my parents had just brought him home from the hospital. My grandparents were staying with me for a while to look after me. I was almost three years old. We, my parents, me, my grandparents and my brother, were all sitting at the table having dinner. Suddenly, I looked up and over towards the doorway and saw and apparently said, Hello, Nana. My Nana had died when I was ten months old. The second one is a couple of years later when we were visiting my aunt. We went to the cemetery to visit my Nana and my Papa's grave. While my parents stood quietly at the graveside, I walked a few steps away and started waving. My parents asked who I was waving at, and I said, those people over there. But there was nobody else in the graveyard. And the third one happened when I was at a cathedral with my family. We were walking down the aisle to sit in one of the pews. I pointed out towards a pew and told my parents I wanted to sit with the people who were in the pew. My parents looked back at me like I was talking some foreign language or something. Then asked which people I was talking about. I pointed to the one with the old couple in. My dad started to say there was nobody sat in that pew, but Mum stopped him and agreed we could sit there. I grew up in a house which was haunted. Looking back, I'm now 43, I feel it was more of a portal than a haunting by one entity. My family consisted of me and my brother and our mother and father. My brother is slightly older than me. I didn't know at the time, but learned many years later that he too laid in bed at night absolutely petrified. He also heard the rapid running up the stairs. I would lay in bed, unable to move through sheer fear. I knew everyone was in bed. Yet, sure enough was that horrible sound of somebody running very quickly up the stairs. It was horrible. Sometimes the house could be fine for periods, but then suddenly the atmosphere would change. It was like this heavy and scary veil would drop on you. It seemed to be that particular parts of the house were the scariest. The hallway, the stairs and the upstairs landing. The reason I describe the house as a portal is because of what I saw and felt. Now, despite all the horror endured there and being so afraid that I dare not even breathe, my ghost experience was not frightening at all. I think that's because the two were very separate things entirely. Anyway, I was about six years old. I had woken from a very frightening nightmare. I left my room to go into my parents' bedroom. The stairs were right outside my door to the right, and my parents' room was to the left. Instead of turning left, I felt I needed to look down the stairs. I will describe what I saw. Five people coming up the stairs. But they were not actually using their feet to climb the stairs. They were walking in their own space and on their own ground, which can only be described as like a projection. They were all dressed in peasants' clothing. There was one woman with a boy and the others were men. There was also a dog at their side. The boy had a drum strapped to his front and was banging it. All of them were very happy celebrating. I stood there as a little girl and watched them. They were not looking at me. They did not even know I was there. They were not making any noise, even though it looked like they should have been. 
and the silence was absolutely deafening, and when I go back in my head to that moment, I can still feel that unearthly silence. I just felt confused, but not in any way afraid. After a short while of watching, I turned around and went into my parents' room. My mum said that she remembers me telling her about seeing the people coming up the stairs. I do believe that those people were in their own dimension, as I was in mine. Perhaps it was an event which happened on the ground hundreds of years ago, such as the Peasants' Revolt. Perhaps it was a glimpse at my own past life. My 13-year-old daughter had a short-term illness when she was four years old, shortly after my father, her grandfather, had died. I was holding her whilst being sat in a chair and she started giggling and pointing up at a step into the kitchen. I asked her what she was laughing about and she replied, It's Poppy. That was the name she had for her grandfather. He is so funny. I asked her what she saw and she said, It's Poppy, he's right there. I didn't say any more to her of it at the time, but she still recounts the experience now. Recently, she has been seeing a man who she describes quite elaborately, down to the clothing he is wearing, who appears at her school and is in the same place in a corner of a hallway she passes each morning. He is standing and sometimes gesturing to her in a wave or a shoulder shrug. One time, he was trying to tell her with his arm gestures to turn around for some reason. One time, her great-grandmother was with him. She died within the last two years. And one time, the same grandfather, Poppy, was with him. I asked her how she responds to him, and she tells me that she smiles and sometimes waves discreetly because middle school friends are around. She says that... When she looks away after seeing him, he is not there when she looks back. She has not seemed fearful or negative toward the experience, but is rather interested in who it is and why he is there. We talk about her day every night at bedtime, and some nights I ask her if she has seen him. She answers yes quite a lot of the time. As I lay in bed with my two-year-old daughter, I watch her as she seems fixed on something at the end of my bed. I ask her if she's okay, and she tells me she's scared. When I ask what of, she tells me of the scary man. I tell her there isn't a scary man. It's just you and mummy. But she tells me that there is a scary man standing right there. I ask her why is he scary, and she tells me he bites her. This has happened tonight, and we are now camped out on the sofa as I'm pretty freaked out. This isn't the first time it's happened either. We've recently moved house. In my old house, I've seen a man, but I didn't feel a negative energy the way I do now. I also don't have anybody close to me who has passed away. However, I feel my whole life. I've been followed and never alone. My mum tells me I was a strange child who used to talk of a past life in vivid and descriptive detail and prefer to play alone from a very young age, and she would often hear me talking to no one in particular. When I ask her if the man is gone, she tells me, no, he's in my bedroom. She doesn't know his name and hasn't quite got the vocabulary to describe him. She told me one night he had a book. And on a different occasion, she came running out of her room at about 3 a.m. saying the same thing. I told the man to go away. We don't have scary men in our house. And as I went to put her back in bed, the light which I know was off was on. This used to happen quite often in our old house, too. I really don't know what to do. If you enjoy watching these short ghost stories, why not give us a like? And perhaps subscribe. We upload regular. Now, on with our last story for today. My daughter is three years old. 
She has mentioned things she has seen in the past, and I can feel that she is in touch with the spiritual side. Recently, she slept at my parents' house and had a meltdown in the morning when she woke up. She told me later that she woke up and saw a black ghost. I don't know how accurate her description is, as she is only three. But she said he had no face, it was just white, and it was wearing a black costume with a hood. She told me where she saw it standing, which is only a couple feet outside of the bedroom she was in. I grew up in that house. We all know there is spirits there, but none of us have ever seen anything like that. I've only ever seen white orbs, and my mother saw a young boy one time. But other than that, it's mostly just whispers and a lot of noises. I do not sense any danger when I am in their home, but maybe I'm just not picking up on this being. I know there will be a lot of skeptics as she is so young, but I know my daughter and how she is. She isn't lying about this. She said it was the first time she's seen it. I told her not to be scared, but what else can I say and should I do some sort of cleanse? I don't know what this spirit wants, but why is it watching my three-year-old daughter? I don't mind spirits in our home, but I don't want my daughter to be fearful. She has mentioned seeing spirits before and was not scared then. But it could just be because this one is different.